Exactly. And right now, there's something I'm meant to do, too. Guys, it's Gucci, so boy, SJ Kate out the first black super saiyan to work on this planet. This was requested by Marvel fan. Shouts out to her, Marvel fan. Um, we got a reaction right here for you guys. I'm gonna react to all the Avengers Endgame deleted scenes. We're gonna talk about it, get get my comment on it, on the ones I seen and the ones I didn't see. But this looks like a compilation of all of them. Well, all the ones that were released, but we're gonna check them out, see which ones they sh they should have took out and which ones they should have kept. But let's get into it. Let's go. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed the reaction. Stay, stay with me. Stay with me on this. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please stick around. Stick around. Look in the description down below. All my information is there. But let's get into this video right here, right now for you guys. So it's for you. A reaction from yours truly, SJ Kida. Let's go. These aren't Gojis? They are not. It's an alpaca. Your alpaca ate them all. Oh. All of them. <laughs> what a glowing endorsement. First of all, Gerald is our alpaca. <laughs> it's not my alpaca. He's eating my Gojis. Okay. They're going to be nice and salad. Right no, there, right? don't, 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 don't. Could you put it down? Get out of my kitchen. Okay. Oh. We're good here, right? Yeah, we're great. Tell Madam Secretary lunch is in five. I will collect our alpha female post haste. Mm, I'm okay with them taking out. I mean, if I had to be honest with you guys for Endgame, I didn't really. I never liked Tony Stark ever. Period. I mean, sure he had some epic moments, but I never liked Tony, and I never truly cared that he even got his daughter. But I would have found it more interesting if, look, the Avengers Endgame time travel. In my opinion, it was it was bullshit. It was the no consequence time travel, meaning you can time travel to the past, and to other realities, and your presence stays fine. Look, what would have been more intense and, and a lot more, and, and would have added way more tension, more tension to the story, is if the Avengers Endgame writer was like, look, Tony Stark does want to go along with time traveling to uh, save his friends. But if they mess up something in time, Tony can end up losing his kid. So, they need to play this very careful. They need to do what they need to do very careful. Very careful. I have to crash the... Yeah, I have to... Tesseract after that. And what happened to the Tesseract after that? It's bottom of the ocean. It fell out of the plane after I had to crash it. Yeah, I've been meaning to ask, why did you have to crash the plane anyway? There's bombs on board. Bombs on board. And you couldn't have jumped out of the plane before you crashed it? Shut the fuck up! No one cares about- Know your fucking place, trash! Grody, shut your ass up. You already lost them legs, Rody. You keep talking, you gonna lose that tongue, and you finna lose that arm. Don't you dare question Captain America's logic with anything, bruh. He's a leader of the Avengers. Don't you dare question Captain America. Ever in your life, Captain America was the one out there bodying Thanos while you was under rubble. Canopy, canopy, uh, canopy, canopy, canopy. How long did you fight these guys? About uh, two. Oh, I this one was actually. I wish they kept this one. This one was Three funny. Hours. Hours. The Chitauri, the suckiest army in the galaxy. Why didn't you just blow up the mothership? <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. You didn't know that was a thing? Oh. Hey, Alright, they should have kept this in. This one was actually funny. That was actually funny. Like, funny, funny. Okay, um... My only issue with Avengers 1 was that... Loki needed to open up the uh, portal with the space stone to transport Thanos' army, the Jatari, to um, Earth. But I'm over here like, when they show me an Infinity War, I'm like, wait a minute. Ebony Maw and freaking 
Ebony Maw and um the giant dude with the hammer uh just flew the donut ship into Earth's atmosphere and just showed up. So I was like, why couldn't the Ch Chitauri just fly to Earth and just fly in there? All clear, which way? Ooh. Oh, man. You say something? I said Thor I want to my eyes home, bro. He's pissing all over Asgard and shit. I already saw the awfulness. Uh. <laughs> Will you focus? I'll focus. This pretty place is about to get uglified real quick by a bunch of freaking elves. Do you know that I saw all these people die? So this, this is a little bit difficult for me, okay? So why don't you reach down deep inside and try and find a small ounce of humanity? Just give me the thing. Just give me the thing. Just give me the thing. I didn't, didn't even want to come here. You're living all these repressed memories. I gotta get it together. I agree. Get it together. You're acting real pathetic, bro. Like I say, I have my issue with Thor and Endgame. My pro my whole problem with Thor and Ink in this Marvel universe, they tried to humanize the character so much. They tried to make him seem so human and so relatable. I'm like, that ain't that some shit. You take a you take a godly character and you make him relatable. Okay. You your your intention is to make him you so your intention is to break him down so much that you just want to make him relatable to humans. It's like, stop that. That's like if you took Kratos from God of War and you tried to make him so human that he's no longer seems like the god of war. Thor in Endgame, he was not Thor, bro. He was not Thor from Thor One and Avengers One is the best Thor. Infinity War, I don't care about Infinity War just because he came in there with that new whack looking hammer with the tree branch on it. Bring Thor with Mjolnir is the best you is the best you can get. That new hammer looks ugly, bro, with that tree branch handle. Missing with that tree branch handle. Groot's arm is the handle. This should look whack, bro. That it look if it actually had an actual handle, it would have looked better. But I still don't like the idea of Stormbreaker, anyways. Like even in Thor three, my biggest problem was that they broke, they took his hammer away from him again. Are you trying to do under unworthy Thor arc again? And then Thor over here making it seem like an end game, he was no longer worthy. My G, my G, my G, my G. You was not, you was not worthy in Thor one. You're still worthy. He's like, oh, oh my gosh, I'm still worthy. Bro, bro, why do we need to go through this? You thinking you're not worthy again. You already dealt with this. Move on. I'm trying to... Thor 3 broke his hammer. I'm like, what the frick are you doing, bro? Broke his hammer. Come on, come on. He didn't get a new hammer. And his dad taught him in Thor 3, son, you are not the god of hammers. You don't need a hammer to be special. <laughs> okay, Odin. Well, your son was chasing out their hammer in Infinity War, the movie right after Thor Ragnarok. So, what happened to that character development, Thor? You didn't, you didn't even listen to what your dad said. He didn't even listen to what his dad said. He didn't even listen. I need to go get a hammer. Your dad just told you you're not the god of hammers. You don't need a hammer to be Thor. Dummy. I'm Thor. I need a hammer. What? Why would you break his hammer in Thor 3 if you're just going to give him another hammer in Infinity War? Where I had the impression that Thor was like, yo, man, freak this hammer. I'm finna be raiding, bro. I'm finna go full on raiding. That's, that's what I thought. I thought he was going to be punching people with thunder. Doing some, some Hadoukens with the thunder. And then you chasing after a hammer again after dad just told you in Thor 3, you don't need a hammer to be great. Meaning. You shouldn't be chasing and fiending for a hammer to accomplish anything. He needed a hammer to accomplish killing Thanos. His dad just told him in, oh, in Thor 3, you don't need a hammer, son. You don't need a hammer. Oh, he needs a hammer. He looked like he needed it to body Thanos because he was so weak in uh, Infinity War. He got beat up within the first... We didn't even see Thor get beat up. Off we saw Thor got beat up off screen. That's how, that's how bad he got beat up. They didn't even want to show Thor get beat up. They was like, oh, sure, we can't show the fans. They're they going to they gonna be sad. Thanos beat the shit out of Thor. You're Power Stone. Bah! All right, which way? You don't know? You used to freaking live here. For 1,500 years. Oh, man. Eat him. That way, I think. Yeah, maybe. Thor's a dead. whole we bomb in so, so bro. Dead.
I get it. It's nutty. It's crazy making because you start worrying about a legacy. I actually you're like this moment in Endgame. I thought it was kind of sweet. You realize you haven't done all that much to give me one. What you Even though I didn't need it, I mean, I really didn't need for Iron Man to meet his dad in the past to, you know, this is like this whole scene further made it like, oh, Iron Man's gonna die. Your name again? Potts. Potts. Yeah. Wanna come work for me, Potts? But it was an okay moment. You know, I'm not mad at it. It was an okay moment. It was heartwarming to see. It was emotional, but it wasn't needed for me. Ah, this scene here. I seen this on Twitter, but we'll watch it together. In fact, look, I'll tell y'all this much. In no way should Iron Man Iron Man shouldn't even be in his physical form right now. His whole body should have went poof. And go watch Endgame again, and you look, the stones is flowing through Tony's body, bro. In order for you to use the stones, it needs to flow through your actual body. Thanos has proven that for it to work. All those stones, you see the energy coursing through his body. You can't just put the stone in something and it works. The stones course through your body, you through your veins. They, they pump through it so you can use it. Tony's human body was able to hold six infinity stones. And he, did, he should have instantly blew up holding six stones, bro. Six stones. He should have instantly blew up. <laughs> Miss me. Captain America Thor, man. Cap. Take that knee, Hawkeye. Black Panther. Oh, we taking the knee. Take that knee. Yeah. Take that knee, Nebula. Tony with your friend. Y'all played, uh, I was playing games together. Ant-Man. Look at Doctor Strange looking guilty, right? Doctor Strange looking guilty. Oh, man. I really let this dude die. She. Gamora, you funny, bruh. Look at Mantis, bruh. What's going on? In my opinion, I prefer the uh, other scene, even though I would have said take Spider-Man out, trying to relive Spider-Man and Iron Man and Infinity War, that shit was whack. But the scene kept it as is. But one thing I said they should have done was put Captain America and Thor up there with Tony talking to him. They didn't even walk up to his body and wish him off to the afterlife. It was just Pepper. I was like, all of them should be up there. This was your, your your the guy you worked with for so many years fighting aliens, robots, Ultron, the Chitari, Loki, all these people y'all battle. You should be up there wishing them off the afterlife. Put your hand on his shoulder at least and like Tony, you can rest, you can rest, rest. We got it. Let us fight for you. You rest and we'll do all the fighting for you. You fought. You fought long enough. Rest. But hey, that's it's, it's that's just how it plays out. You know, air, directors have different visions. You know, I'm not a director, but I have ideas. But look, um, we're gonna go ahead and end this video. The one deleted scene I think they should have kept. This scene here is gold. I think they, they should have kept this scene in here. They playing games. They should have kept this scene in the movie. How long did you fight these guys? About uh, two, two or three hours. Hours. The Chitauri, the suckiest army in the galaxy. Why don't you just blow up the mothership? We didn't know that was a thing. You didn't know that was a thing! Everyone knows! Hey! <laughs> <laughs>
But uh, I'm going to go ahead and this video there. It's your boy K Dot. First black Super Saiyan to wear violence. Then goes to that peace, love, positive, saving all the time. Don't do drugs. Everything.